Welcome to the 2021 Recognition Ceremony for graduates from the Department of Computer Science. I am Ken Anderson, Department Chair, and on behalf of the Department of Computer Science and the College of Engineering and Applied Science, I'm delighted to have all of you with us today. We are here to honor and celebrate the accomplishments of the Computer Science Class of 2021, including all of our brand new recipients of our bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. With the global pandemic, this last stretch of the academic journey has been stressful and challenging for our graduates. However, they have shown us that they possess the resilience and perseverance that we like we seek to instill in our students. Over the past year, the CU community has came together to redesign our processes and continue the pursuit of knowledge despite the challenging circumstances. I'm so proud of what we have achieved together and what these students have achieved individually as scholars. We'd like to share with you some favorite memories and student experiences. We will then move on to the presentation of our graduates. master's student. My experience at CU has been anything but ordinary. Came in as a student but also served as a TA, expected to take classes in person but had three semesters online thanks to the pandemic. Boulder has given me so much more than I expected, met some amazing people, received great support from the department and faculty and loved going on those hikes which my friends can attest to. Finally, congratulations to everyone graduating this year despite the challenging times. Scobas. I'm Arjun. Coming to CU Boulder has been an amazing experience for me. It's been so much more than I expected it to be. I made some amazing friends and connections with the people I worked with and definitely created some long lasting memories. I'm excited for my next phase and I'm eager to get started with it. And I would like to wish my fellow graduates the best of luck with their next endeavors. Our doctoral students are distinguished in their accomplishments and career paths. After dedicating their time to receiving a bachelor's degree, which required four or five years or even more of rigorous work, they decided that was not enough study. They've now spent many years in school beyond their bachelor's or master's degree. While during this time, they've been completing additional coursework, their primary focus has been on performing research to create new knowledge or new technologies to improve society. Indeed, 
most of the material in all the textbooks used by our undergraduates had its origin in someone's PhD research. Each PhD candidate has successfully carried out independent research to advance a particular area of computer science and has written and orally defended a PhD dissertation that is frequently the length of a novel. This is often the most focused, intense research effort they will undertake in their career. It is carried out in close partnership with a faculty mentor. For many, that partnership is the most significant and influential relationship in a PhD student's career. Now, we proudly present our recipients of the PhD degree in computer science. Hi, I'm Bobby Schnabel, external chair of the computer science department. First, I'd like to extend my heartiest congratulations to all our graduates and best wishes for your futures, which I know are very bright. Now we have a special treat, a featured and brief guest speaker, one of our own recent alumni, Dr. Nima Keevan. Nima earned his PhD in computer science from CU in 2017, specializing in robotics. He was a co-founder of Boulder-based startup Canvas Technologies, a robotics company which was acquired by Amazon in 2019. Nima remained with Amazon until recently when he moved to a venture partner role in Explorer Capital. And I know that he is not done being an entrepreneur. Nima serves as a very helpful member of our Computing Advisory Board and is this year's recipient of the College of Engineering Recent Alumni Award. I'm delighted that he will share some thoughts with you. Congratulations, graduates. I hope you're feeling proud today, especially since you were thrown quite the curveball last year. The field of computer science is growing at an astonishing rate, as I'm sure you know, and there are lots of unanswered questions, both in industry and academia. All of that makes for a pretty exciting field to be in, and I'm sure your degrees will open many doors. My own journey to computer science was a little less straightforward. I first started in aerospace before realizing that the dynamism and frontier space that I was looking for was in a different field, in computer science, and I switched for my PhD. During that time, I've been fortunate to have the opportunity to work with some amazing teams at some amazing companies. And over that time, I picked up a little bit of insight that I'd like to convey to you that I wish I knew when I was graduating. If you choose to go into industry, you might find yourself being faced with a choice. That between working at a large company or a small startup that you might have never heard of. These two company types will lead to very different trajectories. My experience, large companies lead you to specialize in a particular domain, usually within the context of that company. They're secure and stable and usually have pretty well-established, decades-long 
career growth opportunities. In small companies or startups, on the other hand, everyone has to wear multiple hats. Breadth is more of a focus and you'll be given responsibility far earlier than in a big company. Startups are also very risky. They can go bust or worse, they can go nowhere. But you'll be given responsibility earlier and as much of it as you're willing to take. The right startup can be a great way to level up your career. When choosing the first few companies of my career, I actually stumbled through, often getting lucky without really knowing how to assess people, companies, and opportunities. I'm still learning how to do that, but what I wish I had done earlier was talk to more people and solicit more advice. If you're interested in a company, reach out to their employees on LinkedIn or via email. I think you'll be surprised at how many people are more than willing to help you learn. No matter which path you take and what company you choose, I'm sure it'll make for an exciting career. I wish you all the best and good luck for what's ahead. We will now honor our graduate students for notable achievements and contributions to this department. We now present our graduates of Masters of Engineering and Masters of Science in Computer Science and Masters of Science in Technology, Cybersecurity and Policy. We will now honor our undergraduate students for notable achievements and contributions to this department. We now present our Bachelors of Arts and Bachelors of Science degree recipients.
Graduates, you represent our future. You are engineers and the world looks to engineering to help solve the major problems we face today and tomorrow. This century, engineers must work with scientists, policymakers, and the community to tackle issues such as pandemics, global climate change, the securing of our cyber infrastructure, the development of sustainable energy, and the transformation of healthcare. But these are just a few of the issues. Computer science has strong roles to play in solving each of these problems and other societal challenges that we face today and will face tomorrow. Each of you represents progress toward meeting our nations and the world's demand for people with computing knowledge and skills. Congratulations to you all. You now join a distinguished group of graduates from our college. People who have gone on to become astronauts, researchers at prestigious universities and labs, and valued contributors to a vast array of commercial, government, and nonprofit organizations. You join graduates who became the directors of the Human Genome Project, entrepreneurs that founded disrupting companies, and faculty furthering the field of computer science. All of these people work to have a positive impact in the world, and now you will join them. We are proud of you. You are our future, and with your hard work, it is very bright indeed. We know that no one succeeds alone. So students, remember to take a moment today to thank those friends and family members who have supported you on your journey to this day. You may be watching this ceremony with them beside you, or they may be sharing in this moment with you from far away. Recognize the community that has helped you reach this day of achievement. Part of that community includes our very own faculty and staff. I would like to take a brief moment to acknowledge our faculty and staff for all they do to support the education of our students. Our faculty are charged not only with providing these students with the skills and knowledge they will need, but also guiding their education both inside and outside the classroom. Our staff further enhance the learning environment and provide support to our students in many ways to allow them to reach their fullest potential. Graduates know that the faculty, staff, and leadership all share in the celebration of your achievement and wish you well. I would like to ask that as alumni, you stay connected with our department, the college, and CU. We love to see our alumni giving back and helping the students who follow in your footsteps. So please stay in touch as you move on to the next stage in your professional journeys. For those of you that would like a chance to participate in an in-person graduation ceremony, please be on the lookout for information from the department on returning to see you Boulder for a future celebration. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks again for celebrating with us today and congratulations to the class of 2021.